<laughs> oh, little boy, what's the matter there? <laughs> some some monkey dog tweeted something and I don't understand it. Oh, well, maybe Uncle Caesar can help you. Hello and welcome to Caesar Snack Sandwich. Today we're taking a look at Popsicle Finance again. Now, those of you that follow me closely will know that I'm actually pretty interested in this project. Now, the founder of the project has actually tweeted out this uh, a few hours ago, maybe 11 hours ago. It's a little bit hard to understand. There's a lot going on here, but I've taken the time to try to understand this to the best of my ability. And I've taken this image and chopped it up and I will go through it piece by piece in a flowchart style video. So let's check it out. Okay, so here we are on the Popsicle Finance flowchart that I've made from the image that I totally ripped off. But anyhow, here it goes. Um, the Popsicle Finance is going to do this airdrop. They're going to give away 10% of their total supply. Now the rest of the 90 are going to be used for other things that I'm not gonna talk about in this video, but most of it's going to be given to the protocol usage over the period of the life of the entire protocol. So, but today we're talking about the airdrop and what to do with the airdrop. So the first step is over here. So 6% of this 10%, right? 6% of the total supply is going to be given to retroactive actions. So things that people already did in the past and they took snapshots of those things and they're going to give them the airdrops. So what did people do? People did stuff like this. Some people went to the Discord and joined the Discord early and they're going to get the largest amount. That's 2.5% to those people. Now another 1% is going to the cream finance uh, community. 1% is going to people who provided liquidity on either Phantom or Binance Smart Chain for SushiSwap. Another half of a percent is going to the Phantom, people who just did a swap on Phantom on SushiSwap. Uh, another five per, half a percent is going to the REN protocol dark nodes. Now this is quite special. And then a bunch of Badger DAO people who voted on so forth on the part of this community as well. Now, the key thing about this is all of these tokens are going to be just dropped directly into wallets. Now it doesn't say here on like which one of these are going to go to which, um, which blockchain and I don't quite remember. So you just have to basically check both and I will show you how to do that after. So basically you just go to these different wallets. It'll be the same address, I guess, depending on what you did, if you did any of these things with those addresses. You just go and check to see where your tokens will be. They will just fall right into your wallet. You don't need to claim, no claim button, no website visiting and you know claim your tokens. Just they're gonna be there inside your wallet, okay? So this is the airdrop, okay? Now what can you do when you have the airdrop? Now obviously the first thing you could do is you could consider just selling all the tokens, go to any of the liquidity pools that will be open and just sell the tokens and walk away from it. Now you could do that. Now I'm not gonna probably do that. I might end up having to sell some of my tokens but I'm gonna try to keep as many as I can. Now what can you do if you want to do more? You can provide liquidity on to some pairs, right? So if you use your ICE tokens and you provide liquidity, then you're also going to get part of this second airdrop. So within the next 48 hours of when these get dropped, so after these get dropped for 48 hours, sometime in that 48 hours, they're going to do another snapshot of the people who make liquidity pools using the ICE token. Now it says here, 200 to 999 ICE get half a percent and greater than a thousand get another half percent. So what does that mean? So if, if you build an LP with just like 300 tokens, then you will be in this group of people. If you build an LP with a thousand tokens or more, then you will be in this group. Now I'm not exactly sure which one's gonna get more popularity and which one's gonna get built more. That's something you're gonna have to decide for yourself and there's no way for me to know right now. So if you don't have a thousand, then you're probably gonna have to do this. So maybe the thousand will be less popular and you will get a larger portion, but it is 50-50. So, you know, it's just the same amount of tokens given to all of those people and the same amount of tokens given to all of those people. So you can take your chances on either one. Now, which LPs can you give to? You can give to SushiSwap on FTM and here are the pool types, ICE versus FUSDT and ICE versus FTM. Now, 
I'm going to show you how to do this kind of, I'm not going to actually do it because I don't have ice tokens, but I'm going to show you where to go and how to do these kinds of things. Okay. Now pancake swap, you can do ice versus again, FUST or ice versus BNB. It depends on what you have and what you can get right now. I did uh, do a bridge video about how to get FUSDT from ETH, uh, from uh, Ethereum. If you want to check that out, then you can watch the video at the end of this video. I will link to it there. Or you can go to Uniswap and provide liquidity there for ICE versus USDT or ICE versus ETH. Okay, so those are three options. Now you just, like I said, you just build the LPs, you wait 48 hours and you get more tokens, which is great. So you just build the ones that you want and you're gonna get trading fees from these as well because people are going to be buying and selling. And you know, that's up to you, that's your strategy. Which one you think is gonna be more popular? Maybe you just stick to the chain that you got your drop on, okay? So the next part, the next part of this three part phase is another 3%. So that's your 10, right? Six, one, and three. So another 3% is going to be given over four weeks, okay? There's a schedule for this and you can check their website like how often, it's not every week is the same, okay? But I don't have it here, so I'm not gonna talk about it now. So it's just initial farm offering. So what does this mean? So basically you go to Ethereum, Binance Smart Chain or Phantom, you go to this website here, Phantom uh, Popsicle Finance, I will show it to you and I'll also put a link to the in the description. I'll put a link to all of these in the description and you can just stake ice and you can gain more ice. Now the APY doesn't show on the website right now and it does say 3%. So this will be clear when you go to the website with your ice and you're like, hey, I wanna stake my ice. It'll show the APY at that time, okay? You can also stake FUSDT in those pools and you gain one times ice. So I have no idea which one's gonna be better, but you know, if you build up an LP, say you build up one, say you had 400 and you put 200 or 300 in here and you had 100, 100, it might be a good idea to stick the other 100 in here and, and farm it up, right? And then there's going to be some more pools afterwards. Now, it, after the 48 hours, after this drop here, they're going to start doing community voting, you know, new, maybe single assets or some LPs even that they want to incentivize. And that'll be governance. All the DAO will decide these new, new, new ones. So it's hard to say what they will be in the future. So I think this is pretty clear and I hope you understand it. Let's swing over to the actual applications and take a look at them. Like, so I'm gonna go to this popsicle stand first and then I'm gonna go to these different, um, these different liquidity pools and show you how you're gonna need to, what you, the steps you're gonna need to get these things and get it done, okay? So let's do that now. Okay, so here we are on the Popsicle Finance website. And like I said, if you want to come with those two tokens, you can come here to ICE staking. And you can either stake ICE here or FUSDT. Now, again, this is not live yet, so it's not actually functioning, but when it's actually working, it will be okay. As you can see, I'm currently connected to my Binance Smart Chain. So if I was wanted to switch, I would just go to my MetaMask, click here, go to Ethereum, and come here, select ETH, and then it'll be the ETH version. So if I came to the ETH version or the Phantom version, I'd have to connect my MetaWask wallet and I could then stake my tokens that are on that different blockchain, okay? So like I said, there will be APYs on here, return on investments and how much and so forth. These numbers will become a lot more clear when that happens and you'll show how many tokens are in there and so forth. So you can do this if you decide or if you say you don't have a very big amount, like you don't have maybe 200 even, you can just stick them in here and gain some more that way and farm some more, okay? Now, another possible thing you could do is you could maybe farm it for one day and get enough to make LPs the next day, right? So you might get lucky, right? I don't, we don't know, I don't know when the 48 hour window is going to happen, when the snapshot's going to happen, but in all likelihood, it's not gonna happen within the first, you know, 10 hours or so, but that's just a wild guess, I would say, okay? So do what you want, and uh, this is a possibility. Now, let's go over to the first one. Okay, so here we are on the sushi swap. Now this is what we're gonna use for F Phantom, Phantom Opera, FTM. So if you try to go to this website in the link when you're connected to your Ethereum, it'll probably be a white screen. But if you go on Binance, it will show up on Binance. So make sure it does say Phantom here and that you're using Phantom tokens as your gas and so forth. So then you will just come here, you select a token. This is if you want to sell it, of course, you want to buy some ice. But if you want to provide to the liquidity, it's over here, pool. So we click pool. And then it, the pair should be created by the time you get around to doing this. I'm hoping that the team or some of the whales will create the liquidity pool themselves. So you would just go to add liquidity. So you use FTM, remember, for that's one of the pairs. And you would come down here and you would want to find ice. But if you put ice, 
it doesn't show up, right? So we need the actual ICE token. So how are we gonna get that? So if we go to FTM scan, so if we go to FTM scan, and this is where you're going to put in your wallet. So you come to MetaMask, click on your wallet, click here, put in your wallet and wait. Now this is the contents of the transactions of your wallet. And you come to here and you click on this. And these are all the tokens that you have in your wallet. So here is where you can check to see if you have your ICE tokens yet. And when you do have your ICE tokens, you can then pull them. Let's say, that's for example, let's say this token was my ICE token. It's not, but let's say it was. I would click on it. And then this contract number here would be the ICE contract. So then I would click on this and then put it in here. And you see it comes up with WFTM because that's the one it was. But if it was ICE, it would come up with the ICE token. So let me go to my list and actually get an ICE token contract number. So I've gotten the contract number from asking questions and they, the team was able nice enough to give, the, give me this contract number for this video. So I'm going to show you what it will look like. So you click here. And then it says, oh, look, ICE is ready. You need to import it. And it's going to say, hey, are you sure? This is, you know, this is risky stuff. Maybe you don't know a lot about this. This is always the warning that you will get when you are importing a new token and press import. And then you can add liquidity to it. So FTM and ICE token. So this is probably the pool I'm going to do because I have FTM tokens in my wallet. But uh, the other possibility is you could use FT, FUSDT, right? So FUSDT. DT. Now, I've already added it because I have the contract already, so I could go here and add it this way as well. However, if you don't have the FUSDT, because it's going to, it's not going to recognize it probably, maybe when you come around it might already be whitelisted and be ready to be selected. But if you can't find FUSD, then you go to this webpage, frapped.io, and it will be this one here on Phantom on Binance Smart Chain if you need it, it's this contract. So you just click this and it'll take you to the same type of FTM scan and it's right here. You just pull this contract number and you bring it back to SushiSwap and you would click and paste it in here and it would become FUSDT just like I did with the ICE token, okay? And then you just choose the amount. Now remember you need to put at least 200 here or maybe if you wanted to do 1000 or whatever, you know, the numbers I talked about before. And then it'll automatically say how much you need of this one. And you can then add them and get the liquidity pool token and just hold it and wait for your airdrop. Okay, so let's go over to Binance Smart Chain and talk about that one. So Binance Smart Chain, it's the same thing. You could go through your Binance Smart Chain wallet, find the ICE token, collect the, the contract and come to PancakeSwap. Now, if you wanted to add liquidity to PancakeSwap, you would go to liquidity, add liquidity. Now again, I will do this, I will put this in the description below. Add liquidity, BNB versus ICE. Let's see if ICE is here yet. Now I did hear that this ICE token will be whitelisted when it is launched, so it might actually show up here. But if not, you need to put it in this way and it'll look, oh, there it is, it is here. So click add and then just wait, sometimes pancakes a little bit slow. Oh, I need to switch my wallet, that's why. So I click over here and check Phantom to Binance Smart Chain. And you see it automatically connects because I've done it before. And then click ICE. Oh, I've already added it. So click that and then again, add liquidity. So whatever, maybe 300, right? And it'll have prices here. It'll know how much to do it because someone already created the liquidity pool for you. If there's no liquidity here, that means no one has created it for you. And that takes a, that's another idea for another video. So I'm not going to show you how to create it. I just want to show you how to add liquidity. Let the team create the LPs. Someone will do this very quickly. So I'm almost certain it will be done at that time. So again, the same idea, if you want to use FUSDT instead, then you would have to probably get the contract from here and you know put paste it in here and then add it and put it down and 
again choose how much you want to do okay now that's the two options there now like i said the airdrops are all going on to binance or they're going on to phantom now let's say if you wanted to use eth then you would have to come and use multi-chain and it's pretty simple you would just come to here and put ice token oops not two ice ice and where is your source so put a space so ice token and where are you going to send it from so if you had it on by uh, phantom you would click here if you have ice on banner smart chain you would click here so i'm going to use phantom for now got to make sure my my uh, wallet is connected to the right network and now you see i'm on phantom the phantom it's going to go to eth then i could tell it how much i wanted to go to eth and then i could do the same things on eth i could go to here with my ice token and i could turn this to eth make sure my wallet is set to eth and then then stake my ice tokens in here or i could go to uniswap and build the lp and that's pretty much the same steps that i went through here for the, uh, uh, the phantom okay so that pretty much covers it i think uh, if you have any questions please leave them in the comments below or you know maybe hit up the discord you'll probably get better faster answers by going to the actual discord of pa of popsicle finance if you want to go there it's right here just go to the popsicle finance down here and you can go there and ask the questions you'll probably get answers faster than if you comment on my videos but if you like my video please leave a message and say thanks and that's pretty much it thank you for watching and goodbye